Hey, g'day. Look, I just um, going to harvest at least half the potatoes that I that I planted. So I thought, well, let's do a video, and you can see whether um, <laughs> I did any good or not. Um, one thing I um, I did want to just share about the potatoes, which actually worked out really cool, was um, in regards to the mulch that I put over the the potatoes. You'll see from the videos that I use a lot of mulch. I mean. It's there for a couple of reasons. One, to keep the moisture in so that we don't, um, you know, I don't lose the, the, uh, the water so much. Um, and two, I sort of turn it into the soil and it becomes a bit more uh, carbon source, I guess, for the, you know, compost for the, for the soil. Um, but the, what happened actually with the potatoes um, is that it kept the potatoes covered. So um, where you'll see a lot of people with their planting potatoes, they'll dig a trench and put the potatoes in, put a bit of dirt over, and then um, as the potatoes grow, they push more and more dirt over because you need to keep the potatoes covered so that you know if they don't get if they get uh, if they get into the sunlight, potatoes go green, and you don't want to eat green potatoes. Um, but what I found was I healed my uh, made made mounds, planted my sea potatoes in there, and then I put the, uh, the straw over the top and. If you pull back the straw, you can see that there are some potatoes sitting there. They're almost on the surface. They've become uncovered from the dirt. Um, but because the straw was on top and I made that mulch nice and thick over the top, um, they haven't gone green. They've been perfect. So I haven't had to do anything. I basically just planted them, put the put the straw over the top, and, and away they went. So um, I have been picking some um, baby potatoes as well. I didn't do a video on it, but um, um, I love baby potatoes so what I've been doing on those was just sort of pulling the straw apart digging around just very gently around the base of the potato plants and finding small little potatoes you know um, about an inch or so round so I did steal a few from this end so I'm curious as to how many real potatoes or big potatoes I've got in there um, um, but we'll soon find out I guess so on the video, I think I say, uh, the original video, I did the whole potato patch here, which is, you know, it's not huge, it's only, I don't know, six metres long or so. Um, but I'm going to just harvest uh, half of it today because they were planted a little bit earlier and most of the uh, potato plants have died. So um, it's, it should be about right to, to pick. And then I'll leave the others. They're still going okay at the moment, so I'll leave them for another few weeks and then harvest that lot. So anyway, let's... Uh, jump in and see what I've got. Cheers! Okay, so all I'm going to do at the moment just to make it easier for the potato to get to the potatoes is just take the mulch off the top and put it in my wheelbarrow and then we'll start digging. So, go from there. Hey, got one already. It's not huge, but it's definitely edible. Couple more. So, easy way is just with the with the fork. soil looks great. And see the worms that are in there. This first few here, the uh, sea potatoes didn't really take off, so um, that's why I'm not expecting to find too many in that section. Beautiful. God, 
just see these worms. Look at them. He is a ripper. <laughs> and there's heaps of them. That's great because this is a fairly new garden bed as well. So, um, so I'm pretty excited to see the organics, and the worms and what have you. Okay, well, um, <laughs> that wasn't too bad, I guess. I've seen worse, um, but you know, look, they're not huge. They're a little bit bigger than baby potatoes, just, just if I say that to make myself feel better. Um, but look, um, I guess I have to get better at growing potatoes. But as I was saying before, the reason I was getting so excited about all the worms and stuff in there was because this, this garden was, um, um, was fairly new, so I, w I wasn't sure how I'd go planting potatoes in there because I um, sort of brought in some soil, which was okay. It wasn't fantastic, and I added a bit of manure, and um, I'd been putting some compost tea and stuff on there. Um, but prior to planting the potatoes, when you turned it over, there wasn't really anything in there. It was seemed like it was kind of it seemed rich, but it was dead. Didn't have anything going in there. Now. Oh, it's just absolutely full of worms, so um, that's kind of inspiring for me anyway to see that um, starting to get some life in there. So um, uh, one of the things that I, I wanted to reason why I wanted to harvest this, harvest this was I wanted to put some more manure in and get it ready for sort of um, for spring and summer this this year. So um, hopefully, but I mean, potatoes are supposed to take a hundred days, about a hundred days. So these grew over over winter for me um, you know our winter is, is, is not much but um, we do have like two months in the middle of it where we don't really you know nothing seems to grow very much at all um, but now it's not quite officially spring yet and we still we're already having 30 day mid 30 degrees Celsius you know so it's like amazing amazing weather um, I'm kind of considering planting another crop of potatoes in summer, actually, just to see how they go. Because I'm really trying to work out the seasons here. It's something you, you really need to do in each of your areas um, to, to see when things are, when is best to plant things. I keep a diary of when I'm planting things and to try, try and, if, if it works really well, obviously plant it again the same time next year. But if not, then try and experiment a little bit with the seasons. And then hopefully the year, the seasons in the year itself aren't all that different. But we'll see. So anyway, that's potato harvest number one. I'll do another little video. It'll be in about two weeks time when I pick the rest and see whether that crop was any better. They, they were a different type of sea potato. Uh, they seem to be growing for a little bit longer. So maybe I just needed to leave them for a little bit longer and get a bit more size out of that. But um, anyway, that's cool. I get to build up this bed and get it ready for the next crop. So. Uh, I'll show you, I'll do a couple other videos in a minute and show you some of the other things in regards to the season changing, but uh, we'll see. Cool. Thanks for watching. Ah, oh, yes. I got, my new cam I got my good camera back. So anyway, hopefully you'll see the video uh, in terms of the, <laughs> I was going to say quality improve, <laughs> at least in terms of the, um, yeah, let's say the, the pixels and what have you. Um, it's still same old me in front of the same old veggie garden and stuff anyway so cool but that's why i'm excited and inspired to put the videos back up again so you'll see a lot more cool see ya